Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 73rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about parameterized macros. Now we've seen in one of the tutorials in this course uh, that we can use the hash defined preprocessor directive to create constants and uh, we can use the hash defined preprocessor directive to create macros as well and a macro is basically a combination of one or more statements that makes some sense to the compiler right so we're going to create a parameterized macro in this tutorial and, and inside the main function we're not going to do much we're just going to have two integers we're going to initialize those integers and then add those integers and display the result on screen but we're going to do this without using a function and without adding the two numbers directly using the addition arithmetic operator we're going to do this using a parameterized macro right so let's get started as you can see using code blocks I've saved a file I have given it the name parameterized macros.c on line one in this file I have the stdio.h header file and on line number two I have the hash define preprocessor directive first and then I have a space character and then I have specified the name of my macro and since this macro is going to be used to add two numbers I've given it the name sum and then I have uh, two dummy parameters within uh, a set of parentheses. So the number of arguments that you're going to pass to the macro has to be equal to the number of parameters that you have inside the parameter list after the macro name. And another thing that you have to make sure is that there isn't any space between the macro name, which is sum in this case, and the opening parentheses of the parameter list. Right, so there doesn't have to be any space character here. And since uh, using this macro, we're just going to add the values that are passed to it. I have a space character after the closing parentheses of the parameter list of the macro. And then in another set of parentheses, I have typed X plus Y, right? So X and Y are dummy parameters. And then I want to add the values that are passed to X and Y. So that's why the code that gets run when this macro is called is X plus Y. And then on line number three, I have declared the main function and inside the main function, I've cleared, uh, created two integers on line number five and uh, the integers are called A and B. On line number six, A gets the value 15. On line number seven, B gets the value 20. And then on uh, line number eight, I have a printf statement that's first going to display the values of A and B on screen. And that's why I have these two person D format specifiers. And uh, then I have uh, another person D format specifier to display the uh, result of the addition operation when the macro sum is called, right? So let me run the program for you guys and show you the output. Inside the output window, we see that the sum of 15 and 20 is 35. Right, so that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we're going to discuss uh, something interesting for sure. So please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And I'm going to see you soon.